part of Shanghai got a little brighter, and dozens of families got a new source of energy for their homes 147 years ago today. In tonight's edition of Shanghai Stories, Mark Lapp looks back at the arrival of gas light and gas cooking in the city. This was a new sight on the streets of Shanghai in late 1865, a street light that was brighter than ever before. It used a new fuel source to light up the area around the bond. When people first saw it, they called it Di Huo, Earth Fire. And on November 1st, 1865, the Shanghai British Gas Company started supplying a few dozen customers from its new plant on what is now Shizang Road. They transferred the gas from the factory all the way to the bound, and the street lights were lit by coal gas rather than coal oil from then on. This was the beginning of coal gas. We didn't use it for heat, but for light. Electric lighting came to Shanghai in 1882. The Astor House Hotel was the first to use it inside, and the first electric street lights were also in this part of town. They didn't come without a fight. Shanghai's governor actually opposed electricity. He was afraid it would kill people. And the lighting sparked a competition between the gas company and the electric company that still sort of continues today. 100% of the people in Shanghai use gas. Some people use microwaves for cooking, and some use stoves. So there is competition. Gas was pretty much the only way to go in the days before microwave ovens, going back to the days when foreign companies had a monopoly on coal gas production in Shanghai. The British were first. The Japanese began building a coal gas plant here in the late 1930s, when they were occupying Shanghai and needed energy to produce weapons. China took over the Japanese plant in 1949, at the beginning of the People's Republic, and Shanghai Gas built the first Chinese plant here in the 1980s. The technology of cooking with gas hasn't changed much over the years, but the kind of gas has. Coal gas, the original kind, is still around, but cleaner natural gas became the local favorite about five years ago. More people are using natural gas now. By 2015, another five new sources of natural gas, including one from Malaysia, will come to Shanghai to make this city cleaner. Natural gas will replace coal gas. While the old Yangshupu coal gas plant is gone, there are still three plants producing coal gas in Shanghai. Qing says they'll eventually go away as well. And if Chinese government plans announced just this week become reality, liquid natural gas will become the fuel of the future for trucks, buses, taxis, and ships that now run on diesel oil. The government wants natural gas to meet about 10% of the country's energy demand by 2020, which means using natural gas for a lot more than making lunch. Mark Leff, Shanghai Live.